Guys, we can't thank you enough for all the hospitality. I feel like we now have an extended family. You do. And just all the love and generosity has been amazing. Thank well, you so much. You guys, back at you. You guys have been awesome and we just appreciate you so much. And we will be keeping in touch. So it's yes. never goodbye. It's always see you later. Yes. That's right. See all right. See you guys later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We are officially on the road and there is no turning back now. <laughs> Uh, feels really good to actually finally be hitting the road. Um, I don't know about you, Ben. I felt like moving into this EV was like moving into a house times 10 because it was such a small space and it ended up being so much harder to move in than I expected. Yeah. And really, uh, really was like this intense process I wasn't anticipating. Honestly thought we'd come down here one Fill it up days. in two or three days, <laughs> rest for a couple days, and then take off. And I don't know if it's, I know part of it's that we were pretty tired when we got here. Part of it is Ben running back home to Alaska. Part of it was that it was darn hard to organize everything, to, and, and we actually didn't bring that much more stuff than we should have. We sent one Rubbermaid tote home. And a flat rate box. Yeah, a little flat rate box, but most of that was the CDs you brought back down with you, the DVDs. The DVDs, yeah. Ben found some DVDs when he went back home that we had missed bringing, and he brought those back with us, so we swapped a bunch out and sent some more home. Which is a major thing on our to-do yeah. list, is to get rid of our DVD collection and get it onto a hard drive. Yeah. But uh, the Rubbermaid box, I ended up sending a couple of sweaters home. Um, we sent some of the towels home because we really just brought too many to store. Uh, it was big bulky items like that. We honestly just, we got everything to fit. But we wanted it to be organized so that we could find it and get to it. And that took some effort. Um, so it's finally done. Everything we have to to use and live with for the next however many years we do this round the world journey, it's literally under or behind us now. <laughs> I yeah, guess really not all behind us. us. No. Like, <laughs> there is actually only the feet. engine under us, so everything's behind us. That's it. We're this is this is us. This is all of our belongings for the foreseeable future. And um, on a certain level, that is very freeing to have this minimalistic approach to life and less to take care of, less to worry about, and uh, more time to have fun and explore the world. Well, this is mighty surreal, guys. It has been a while since we have been on the road on a full-time basis. Uh, we went home in uh, like July of 2017 after wheat harvest in Kansas. And you know, there was Alaska RV travel and then we did some uh, RV travel in the winter uh, down in California, but it is awesome to be back on the road. So where are we going? What are we doing? Um, well, today, you know, we're just gonna head to Billings. We have to uh, return some stuff at Michael's, Walmart, and Costco. And I think all three of them are on the same street in Billings. Now after Billings, uh, a lot of the fine details are unknown. We do have general destinations. Uh, we're, for the most part, gonna work our way towards Colorado, enjoy some of the higher elevations and hopefully cooler temperatures. And then we're gonna head to the family farm in Kansas. Uh, probably gonna take the opportunity to uh, use Steve's Round Top, which is like a shop and non-farming circles, uh, to get some work done on the camper here. Because uh, some of the things that we wanna do just would be easier if we don't have to live in the vehicle at the same time. Now after Kansas starts a little bit of a gray area because we're you know talking one to two months out and a lot of times we have no idea what we're doing that far ahead but we are thinking of heading up towards the Great Lakes area uh, more specifically the upper peninsula of Michigan because I've been doing some research and it looks like the temps hardly get over the mid 70s there and uh, probably because the gigantic bodies of water but it seems like it'd be a great place to ride out the summer. Now after the whole Upper Peninsula, Great Lakes area, we're gonna make our push eastward. Uh, 
potentially, I don't, I mean, this far out, there's so many variables, but we're tossing around the idea of uh, Newfoundland, maybe Labrador, Nova Scotia, getting up into that area for the fall colors. Um, when are we going to Europe? Well, we want to definitely wait until August passes. Uh, that is a uh, big holiday month in Europe. And after that, the world, well, actually right now, the world is ours. We're not limited by a vehicle anymore. So we may not necessarily make a beeline straight across the pond because we can do it whenever the heck we want. Like, no more vehicle restrictions at all. Something else I wanted to touch on is that, yes, this is an off-road vehicle, but you know what? We're not gonna be off-roading all the time. There's gonna be plenty of paved roads, just sheer logistics, but when we have the opportunity to go off-road and explore new and amazing places, we're gonna jump on it, so, yeah, there's gonna be paved roads and there's gonna be dirt roads, guys, but it's just real life. Now, there's a handful of thoughts going through our head about uh, the whole passage over to Europe, and we're actually thinking it might be good to let some of this new and d dust settle. You know, we're new into this vehicle. Give us an opportunity to dial everything in here in the States. Because let's face it, things are going to be more expensive in Europe. Uh, right now, the tires on this rig are, I'm gonna call them like 45%, maybe 50% tread remaining. Tires are probably, because they're an oil item, I'm gonna take a guess, and I could be wrong, but tires are probably gonna be a lot more expensive in Europe. So would it behoove us to maybe wear out the uh, tires here? Why not? Um, there's also some, uh, maybe some further renovations and modifications and accessorizing of the truck that would be uh, great to do before we head over. Uh, and a lot of that stuff can be done here in the United States. So, I don't know, just a lot of gray area ahead, but there's some really awesome, bright things ahead as well. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for the day. Thanks for riding with us. Yeah, we're at Walmart rather anticlimactic but it's real life and uh, there's no reason to pay for a place to park when you have a self-contained rig all you need is just a safe place to park for the night um, we're entertaining the idea of doing some meetups as we're working across the country forgive that wind noise if it just picked up um, I think it maybe like the big city areas would probably be ideal so just putting it out there Denver Kansas City, Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Just, you know, put it on your radar, guys. Uh, well, that's a wrap. Uh, thanks for riding with us. And uh, we're going to, while we're on the road, we're going to keep pumping out these videos. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.